Hi, welcome to the eCamp channel. This is John. It's been a year since we uploaded the last video on analysis code for the routine processing of cyclic voltammetry data. We are happy that it was well received. Today we are going to show another example where analysis code can be used to process larger electrochemistry datasets and extract information that is otherwise very time-consuming or labor-intensive to obtain. As an example, we show a demonstration of processing circulability data based on cyclic photometry using an analysis code. I will introduce the background, explain the basic workflow, and then perform the demonstration. The idea is that we can use analysis code to handle large datasets. In today's example, we will look at circulability or cycle life data performed by cyclic photometry. It can be very labor intensive to calculate the capacity of desired cycles as it requires integration and it can be time-consuming to extract tens or even hundreds of sample voltammograms. An analysis code takes the raw data files generated by the instrument and goes to analysis that is programmed in the code using languages like MATLAB, R, Python, and others to extract useful information. In the case of cyclability data, it can be sample voltammograms, capacitance, capacity, Coulombic efficiency, capacity retention, and more. You can take the analyzed data and plot them in professional plotting software like Origin. It is a good idea to develop such a code when the analysis is routine and repetitive, which was demonstrated in our previous video, or when the dataset is too large to process manually, which is today's example. In this demonstration, we are going to use MATLAB code to help analyze CV circulability data obtained from a biologic potential stat to get the plot above. In the example, the analysis code will output three text files in total. Two of them are CV representations, one being specific current versus potential, and the other being specific capacitance versus potential. This specific capacitance is calculated by dividing the specific current by the sweep rate and only works for capacitive or pseudocapacitive materials and not for batteries. The third file contains specific capacity Q, specific capacitance, number of electrons transferred per formula unit, capacity retention calculated from both the cathodic and anodic cycles, and columbic efficiency. You will have the option to specify which cycles to include. If you have questions about how these are calculated, please check out our How to Analyze Cycle Voltammetry Data series. We did not explain capacity retention before. It is calculated by dividing the capacity of a selected cycle by the capacity of the first cycle. In the comment section, we have included a Google Drive download link of the code used in this demonstration. You can save it in a folder that you can find later or in the MATLAB user work folder. Before analyzing the data, you will need to export the data to the format of MPT. Then you can run the code, follow the prompt guidance, and obtain the analyzed text files in the same folder as your original data. Note that this particular code only works with one MPD file at one time. Our apologies that this code only works on the MATLAB platform and with MPT files exported from biologic potential stats. You are welcome to adapt it to other coding languages, like using ChatGPT, and to analyze text files from other potential stat companies. If you decide to download this code and try it on your own data, please first try it on a data set that you have already analyzed and compare the results to ensure that the analysis code is working as intended. If you find any issues running the code, please report in the comment section below with a detailed description of the potential set model, MATLAB software version, and the experimental settings. Welcome back. Now I'm going to show a demonstration of using the circulability analyzer to analysis a example data. So the first step we mentioned is to download the code uh, using the link in the description section. Uh, here's an example of the uh, link. If you click, it's a Google Drive link, and you will need to you can download it to your computer. And after you download the code, um, you can put it in a folder that uh, you can remember later, or you can um, put it in the MATLAB user work folder. You can access where that is by putting in user pass in MATLAB command window, and you will see this directory here. Um, you can copy paste, um, then you access to your uh, user work folder. 
if you save the code in the user work folder, you can use the code by just typing in the name of the program in the command window and hit run. It will give you the prompt window. Then we are going to export the data. Again, this code unfortunately only works with um, biologic potential stat. You can open the code here and export. This data was collected using a tungsten oxide monohydrate uh, collected in sulfuric acid around at 20 millivolts per second. Now we have this MPT file that you can use to perform the analysis. So to do that, we can either run this code or type in the CV Secularability Analyzer in the command window. So we'll just run here. I know from my lab notes that the mass of my active material is 0.3165 milligram, and the molecular weight is 481.68 gram per mole, the sweep rate is 20 millimoles per second, and in this case, let's say we want uh, 1,000 cycle for offset, I will give offset of 1, so we will analyze uh, 1,001, 2,001, 3,001, and so on. And the output name, you can change it to something else, uh, you can say it's uh, the name of the material and this is the reference electrode as default now I hit OK and then it will ask me to navigate to uh, find the file to analyze in this case we will navigate to the MPT we just exported and click open if it says busy it's doing the analysis once it's gone and you see this uh, sign, it means the analysis is finished. If we go to the demo folder, we see the three text files that we promised to generate. Um, as we said, we want um, uh, these are the cycles we specified to uh, analyze. And we can plot them later. And we have sample CVs. These are specific current versus potential and this is capacitance with potential of course this is a battery material so uh, this file is not really useful then we can use uh, a professional plotting software like origin first we can take a look at the analysis file So it's exported with the units and the name specified. Uh, we can plot, for example, uh, using format. Now we have the capacity as a function of number of cycles. Okay. And of course, you can create a capacity uh, retention. Then you can easily see the capacity retention is greater than 98% over uh, almost uh, over 30,000 cycles. So that's how you can easily get those data, which will be quite difficult to get if you are doing integration for uh, all these data. And then we can also plot uh, sample CVs by dragging it into origin. We can set this as common. So these are our cycle numbers. And for fast plotting, you can change uh, the columns of potentials to X. We can set it to X and we select all, and there's a format we built earlier, and now you can see um, everything's plotted. Um, the color is not the best.
best. So we are going to change it to a slightly different format. For example, this one, it looks slightly better. The current is obvious too large. Now you have the plot for the sample CV for every 1000 cycles. Then you can export it and adjust, uh, adjust, adjust it further to make it look better. Thank you. That's all for the demonstration here. I hope this video provides you with an example of how to use analysis code to handle large edge chemistry data and extract useful information. The example demonstrated here was by no means the perfect way to analyze or present the data. We can take this code and improve it further or alter it to work for files produced by potential stat from other manufacturers. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. The videos on our ECAM channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.